Hey Art. Hey Gil. Art, I'm going to share this with my friend Gil in France. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. That's the 80 meter wire antenna. Uh, Alright. Whoa! Almost killed myself here. Generator gas. Aquarium. Sump filter. But you don't care about that shit. Here, let's go out back. Oh, you like that? You like that vertical support? Boy, the sun's blinding this camera. Down we go. Yeah, that didn't come from DX Engineering, I'm afraid, boys. That came from Walmart. Okay. There's the shack window. And I don't know if you can see. So my end fed half wave wire for 80. It started out about 130 feet long, but I ended up shortening it. I don't know how long it is right now, but however long it is, there's about four feet that runs down to the window where it goes in. Then on the other side of the window, on the inside, it goes back up and then back down again where I have an extension that I can unclip. I'll show you. <laughs> i show you. So the wire comes out there. <laughs> Boy, this weather sucks. If I can zoom back out. Okay. Now then, it travels real low. It's about eight feet off the ground right there. Most of the antenna is really low. I mean, I'm not going to walk out there. I can let me follow this thing again. Okay. I can go out to about halfway out the yard, and it's still only 12 feet high. And then up into, it goes up, up, up she goes. Right now, it's over my head. It's about 20 feet high right now, and it goes way up into that crotch right there, which is about 40 feet high, 42 feet high. But that tree we're looking at is not a hundred and some feet from the house because once it gets up to that crotch, it drops straight down about 15 feet. So I've got 9 feet in the house, 15 feet there, so that's 24 feet. Subtract that from the 124 feet that it probably ended up. And, okay, so let's go inside. I'm going to show it and not kill ourselves on these ropes. That's uh, temporarily holding up a 17 meter and fed half wave wire, which is also great working. Okay, I'm going to pause this. Okay, all right, Gil. Boy, I wish I could pronounce your name the way you do, Gil. Gil, Gil. We can pronounce a J-U sound like in Rio de Janeiro. That no problem. We grew up with that one, but E after the J, J. We want to make it an eel. <laughs> That's my Midwestern stink, I've been told. So this is uh, where the wire comes in. That white wire is it, and it's coiled for no real reason, just because it is. Alligator clip clips onto a little piece of wire. Alligator clip. These are just crap pieces of whatever clip lead I had laying around. But the thing is, what I want, I want an alligator clip here, and an alligator clip on this end at the on an unun. Hey, I'm going to invent a new word. Union at my union. Um, anyway, because this is an extension. That's it right there. It's a five foot long extension. What I need to do is just replace it with a real piece of wire. So, anyway, let's look at my onion. This one, I had a bigger one that I used for uh, QRO work that would uh, barely get warm running a hundred watts CW or sideband but I gave that to my brother so this is a QRP version which you can run a hundred watts through but you can't have a rag chew 
I did the other day and it got pretty hot. Smelled like hot plastic too. <laughs> um, a quick 100 watt call, yeah, no problem. Get mildly warm. You can run 25 watts key down all day long. 50 watts, yeah, you'll never have to worry about it at 50 watts CW. Um, anyway, so I'm going to pause this. Well, no, I'm not either. I'm, what I'm going to do is show you this. These are the standing wave ratios that I get with that wire for the various taps on that transformer, right? Now you'll see that 10 meters is the only touchy one where I have to remove, well, that's not true. 10 meters, if I remove the, that extension, I can get a little bit better of a match, right? 80 meters, it's a big band. By having that five foot, I guess it is, extension. Sorry, I'm so shaky. I don't do videos. I'm, I'm nervous and scared. Uh, by having that extension, if I unclip it, I move the resonant frequency up and I can I can nail the whole band without a tuner. See that's the thing. By using the different taps, you're tapping in not only varying impedance transformation ratios, but you're also changing the inductance. And that's what allows you to use one wire. Look at the standing wave ratios I got. One wire, no tuner needed. Hang on, I'm going to pause this. Okay, I'll show you what kind of, what I do here. I'm on 80 uh, CW, right? I should be using the 49 to 1 tap. Which I am. Using the extension, I'll always be using the extension unless otherwise noted. On 80, we use the extension because we want to have a, a lower resonant frequency in the CW portion of the band, right? Here, let's look. Perfect match, okay? I'm going to pause this. Okay, what I did was I removed the clip lead, or I'm sorry, the extension because we want to go up in frequency, we need to shorten the antenna a little bit, right? And if I move the tap to the 25 to 1 to position, <laughs> position which I've done, it's on 25 to 1. This is what kind of match I get. 1.25 to 1. Okay, let's take a look at 40 now. Um, I should be using the 16 to 1 tap. One moment. Okay. <clears throat> 40 meters. I'm on the 16 to 1 tap. Uh, last time I had an SWR of 1.3 to 1, right? So, let's see. 16 to 1 tap. And like I said, from this point on, we're always using that extension. I don't mess with it. Let's be a good ham. Let's listen. Rather than send QRL, I think I'll just drop a carrier. Yeah, let's drop a carrier. About 1.35 to 1. Almost 1 1.4. I'll take it. No tuner needed. Hang on. Okay. We're on 30 meters now. And, um, yeah. Last time I got a match of 1.0 to 1. And let's see what we get now. We're on 10.118. You want to listen? See if there's a hand there? Nah. We're only QRP, right? Oh, I wish this would focus. Please. You know, please. Let me show my friend, please. There it is. Perfect match. 30 meters. Hang on. Okay, here we go. 20 meters. I think most Europeans would call that a gator clip. We're on the 9 to 1 tap with our gator clip. Art and Gil. Gilles. Gilles. 
Um, so 20 liters, 9 to 1 tap. Got an SWR 1.3 to 1. 14 over 60. Let's take a squiz. 1.25 to 1. Take it. Hang on. Okay, kids. Here we are. 17 meters. This was a problematic band for me. Um, 1.7 to 1 is the best match I could get using this 16 to 1 tap. And we are. In fact, using the 16 to 1 tap with our alligator clip lead. <laughs> okay, um, I had a match of 1.7 and yep, there we go. What are the colors wrong on this phone? Unreal. 1.7 to 1. You're right on the brink there. Hang on. I cranked up the power from 5 watts to 100. Let's see if this Yesu FTDX 3000 will output full power into a 1.7 to 1 match. I don't think so. It does though. So, you're right on the brink on 17 meters. The important thing is, you don't need an external tuner. Hell, you don't even need an internal tuner. Uh, you don't need any tuner, which is what I want because tuners are lossy. You can't transform without, you know, without loss, man. Show me a perfect transformer and you'll be the world's richest man. Um, so, the loss in my onion is... Uh, all I can tolerate. So let's take a look at 15 meters. And when I jotted these, this note down, I got a 1.2 to 1 match. I'm turning the volume down. So now I'm on 21030. I'm using the 9 to 1 tap. I don't need to show you. And I'm getting this kind of match. Ooh, we're still on 100 watts. I hope it's acceptable. 1.25 to 1 maybe. So there you go, 15 meters. Hang on. Okay, now I'm on 10 meters. That's the real problem band. Um, I've had the extension on the whole time, except for when I slid up to 80 bone up there, right? But um, this is another case where you might want to pull that extension off. Because right now I have it connected. And it's on the 9 to 1 tap. I don't need to show you. You can believe me. And when I recorded this note earlier, I got a 1.8 to 1 match on 28013. It's a little worse now. 1.9 to 1. And I guarantee you this radio will not output full power into a 1.9 to 1 match. Let's find out. Okay, I cranked the power up to 100 watts. Uh, surprisingly it does. 2 to 1 SWR, 100 watts out. No tuner needed. Okay, I took that uh, extension off and earlier when I made this note, uh, without the extension, I noted that I, if I moved the tap to the 16 point, that it would uh, improve the match a little bit. So I've already done that. I've moved the alligator clip to the 16 to 1 tap. Let's see what kind of match I get. Let's see, before I got 1.5 to 1. Oops, whoops. Well, eh, look how wacky it is. That wire goes up and over that branch. It's not insulated. And on the very end of the wire, you think there's an insulator there? Nope. <laughs> it, the wire ties right to the rope. So anyway, that... <laughs> that is my N-Fed Half Wave 80 meter antenna. It's a compromise antenna on all bands except 80 um, or 160. I use it as a 160 meter quarter wave N-Fed wire, but it's a 50 ohm wire because it's uh, quarter wave. And uh, I use it against this bundle of ground wires right there. Let's see if I can get it. Those, there's three white ones, they're about 130 feet long each, <clears throat> that lay on the surface of the ground in three different compass directions. 
the green one is uh, connected to a ordinary ground stake driven into the ground outside of that wall. And the thing is, this one and, and the ears is the same art that I gave you. It's got this ground clip lead here. It doesn't make a difference. You don't need it. The SWR, at least in my setup here, never changes. It won't change. And well, on a couple of the bands, it'll change a point or two. But the key is, it's not needed. You don't need to ground the unit. Um, your SWRs, I checked them with a 50 foot extension and a 25 foot extension. Yeah, the, the SWR changes. And sometimes only a point or two, sometimes a little more, but usually if it changes much, you can find a, a next door tap that'll give you uh, a great match. With either of those length extensions, I never had to use any kind of tuner, either internal or external. Um, yeah, so there it is. Uh, I'm going to see if I can show you some RBN hits that I got using this antenna this morning. I was quite surprised. Hang on.